So, you know somebody that lives in Isan, and you're going to go visit, but you're a little bit worried about what you're going to eat when you get there? Let's talk about it. So, as you probably know from watching the channel, my channel, our channel, is about getting you from where you are now to where you want to be, which is probably a retirement in Thailand. And I'm always trying to help everybody, including my members. I get questions from the members about that I try and answer about visas and relationships and social etiquette. You know what social etiquette is? No. It means how to be supop and, you know, what's okay and what's not okay. So one of the questions I get asked is about the food. Mm -hmm. oh, I love Thai food, and I cook Thai food, right? Yes, aloe. Aloe mai. Aloe mai. Yeah, I cook delicious Thai food. So that's my food of choice. But when I come to Isan, <laughs> you all and your mom cooks. Now she cooks some good food. I like the nam ya, the curry with the fish over the noodles. Very good. And tam yum pla. She makes soup. Her mom makes soup with the fish. Great. But there's some things. I just read about this in online. Uh -huh. Scorpion burger. Oh. You eat scorpion burger? No, no. Never eat that. You never eaten no. scorpion burger. Neither have I, and I don't want to. <laughs> but you all also eat. Isan, like... The samtam from Isan mm -hmm. has para, the yeah. fermented fish, mm -hmm. which most Farang thinks, man, <laughs> smelly. Yeah, not so good. And also the fermented crab, mm -hmm. which, what do you, how do you say that, the bu? Bu kim. Bu kim, salty crab. And so I don't really care for that. So I eat samtam Thai style without those two and not real, real spicy. But the question is, if I come to visit, can I cook my own food and it's okay? Okay. Yeah, you could, they, Thai people won't care if I go in, I yeah. buy my own food and cook it, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. And so today I wanna to talk about some things that I cooked up that I think is really tasty. Mm -hmm. And so you don't have to eat Isan food, if you don't want to, you can go to the store, cook up your own food. Mm -hmm. So I got a couple things here. And here, I'll give you a shot of what we got here so you can see. But I think I cooked up some really tasty food here. Up some salmon mm -hmm. with a soy sauce, like a ginger soy sauce mm -hmm. over rice with some vegetable, a little broccoli, a little carrot. Do it all right, Hello. Uh, and how about this? Spaghetti carbonara. Wow. And which has a little bit of bacon in it, mm -hmm. but also some smoked chicken on top. <laughs> so, huh? <laughs> what? You think I should tell him, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. She <laughs> thinks I should tell you. Okay. I didn't really cook this food. <laughs> But like I say, there's always what? 
Options. Options, that's right. I actually got this from... 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven, or Thai people call seven. I got it from seven. And so if you come to Isan and there's a 7-Eleven around, they have really good food. Now, I'm not a proponent so much. We cook fresh food. Mm -hmm. Our refrigerator is packed full of fresh food. We don't eat much out of a can or box or anything. But when I'm out here and I don't want smelly fermented fish in my sumptom or scorpion burgers, I can run to seven and get a decent meal. Now, I've never gotten sick from these meals. They're frozen. They get microwaved. They're transported in refrigerated trucks and everything. So I think it's great. I, and the, now the food's getting really tasty and a lot of options, which are sort of foreign dishes. I mean, I've eaten all sorts of kind of foreign dishes, but the salmon with the rice, this was... 49 baht. 49 baht. That's like, oh my gosh, that's like $1.60 or something like that. Crazy. And the carbonara was 45 45 baht. That's like a dollar fifty. And so, and this was something. This was a big find. I've always wondered why Thai people don't smoke, smoke fish, and smoke chicken and stuff like that, because they have the fish and the chicken, but smoking is not a popular way to process food or cook it. But I just found in the 7-Eleven these packs, these plastic packs of smoked chicken breast. Mm. And you can even smell, oh, it smells smoked. And so I put that on top of the carbonara. Oh, tasty. And that was the... 40 baht. Yeah, 40 baht. And I'll show you the packaging of all that so you can see and the prices. But when it comes to, to food and, and what you can eat, nowadays there's a lot of options. They have the fish sandwiches mm -hmm. on on buns like hamburger buns with the fish sandwich and cheese and stuff i think they're like 40 baht or something like that mm -hmm. not much they're cheap and burgers pork burgers chicken burgers they have everything now mm -hmm. because thai people aren't cooking so much food anymore you know <laughs> they're in a hurry yeah. You know, the society is like, well, we don't have time to, to cook and we'll just go to seven or go. Vegan. The food carts are great. Mm -hmm. But when you're out in Nissan, there's not a lot of choices with those. These are, I can get soup. Mm -hmm. But we have little restaurants around Thailand now that are steak restaurants mm -hmm. and things. Even trucks pull up and create a restaurant at night with steak and yeah. salad and a lot of great options. But when you get out here in Nissan, there's like python snake huh no. all sorts of weird foods but uh, i'm not a fan of a lot of them how about the kai mo tang uh, omelet i think you make the egg with the omelet with red ant eggs and would you eat the red ants for, for thought my that mm, I eat before. No. Yeah, yeah, her daughter eats the red ants, but they make the omelet and the eggs with that the egg of the yum, red ant. Yum, the kai. And the red ant eggs, they make yum. Like yeah. a lab. Like, yeah, some kind of dip. Everything's a dip here. But anyway, this is really tasty food. Now, I let Nat eat this, but because Thai people aren't big fans of cheese, she wouldn't like the carbonara. But I can tell you, it's tasty, especially with the smoked chicken on top. Uh, how does it? Oh, here, let me taste it. Yeah, I'll give you the, the mark impression here. <laughs> mm, that is creamy and smoky from the smoked chicken and the little hint of the bacon. Oh, really good. Mark, one day we're going to do a collaboration together. I've never met Mark, but I like his work. Now, the salmon with the rice. Yeah. Here, and we'll let Nat taste the salmon with the rice. It's got like a soy, a ginger soy sauce and stuff. But here, we'll let her taste that. What do you think? Mm. Tasty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, there you go. So I just wanted to pass this so, on to you. Hmm? Like. Yeah, the sauce is tasty, really good. And so there's a lot of options. Uh, what else have I eaten in there? The vermicelli, the clear beans. Not bean sprouts. How do you call? We call 
I forget now. Sometimes I forget in English when I, the clear noodle in English. But anyway, the clear vermicelli with uh, the shrimp on top mm -hmm. uh, that's cooked, baked. But it's really tasty. And what else have I eaten out of there? Spaghetti with oh. macaroni um, and hot dog, chicken hot dog on top and gosh, all sorts of stuff we eat out of there. But check out Seven, go into the, the frozen coolers, open them up and look at all the food. And a lot, most of them have English writing on them. The sh uh, giao kun, the shrimp wonton soup, tasty. They used to have wontons with cheese in them with like it was a, a broth that was Japanese style with like gingers. Oh, it was tasty, but I haven't seen that for a long time. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of this stuff is like the Lay's potato chips here. You'll get a, um, a flavor that you really like, and then all of a sudden it'll disappear. You'll never see it again. So, but um, you remember about the noodles with yeah. the shrimp? Yeah, Wusen. Yeah, Wusen. We call Wusen. <laughs> but it's the bean thread. That's what it is, a clear bean thread. And this shrimp, baked shrimp on top, and it's really tasty too. You like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, Always options. options. So if you're coming to Isan and you're thinking about, you know, am I going to be able to eat when I get there? Yeah, if there's a 7-Eleven, which is now almost everywhere, right? You'll be able to eat. And you can cook this up. They'll microwave it, throw it in the back, bring it home, put it on a plate. And the Thai people will be fine. They'll be eating their scorpion burgers and their some thumb with their smelly fish and stuff. And you'll be good to go. All right? And don't forget the great fresh coffee at 7-Eleven, too. Mm -hmm. All right, so there you go. Anything you want to add? No. No? Mm -hmm. You going to teach me how to make a scorpion burger? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> no, we eat and have a lie. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> cut, break off the, the, the tail with the poisonous part, snap that off, and you can. <laughs> I've seen Bear Grylls do that before in Man vs. Wild. But anyway, we're going to eat lunch. And she's going to go get her some thumb and her sticky rice and what else? Uh, catfish out of the mud pond back here. <laughs> that, you better get all that fish out soon because pretty soon there's going to be no water unless you get some rain soon. It's getting dry back there. Anyway, hope it's uh, been informative and entertaining as well. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Hey, JC here. My YouTube channel, Retire Cheap JC, is about helping retirees get from where they are now to where they want to be, which is usually a retirement in some place like Thailand. These days, there's a lot of reasons why you'd want to move from your home country to some other place. And we won't go into all those, but one of the biggest ones are financial concerns. I put together a document for you all. There's a link here and a link down here that you can download for free. It's called the seven most stressful financial concerns of pre-retirees and retirees and how moving to someplace like Thailand eliminates them. Most retirees are now worried about running out of money or the increasing cost of health care, inflation, or just leaving their loved ones financial burdens when they pass. Well, all those are discussed in the document. Go ahead and download it. And then I'm going to touch base with you and talk to you about each one of these and why I think moving to Thailand eliminates those concerns altogether. So check it out, and I'll be in touch with you soon. JC out. Hey, JC here. If you like that video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel here. Also, we have another video up here you're going to be really interested in watching as well. And if you're looking for all the details of how to retire in Thailand in one place, plus a group of people to support you, check this out over here. Give it a click.